Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, wishing you a happy new year and giving you my list of my top 10 favorite Marvel Legends figures of 2015. I was originally going to do a list of just my action figures of 2015, and I kept on adding Marvel Legend after Marvel Legend after Marvel Legend to the list, to the point where I was like, you know what? They just deserve their own list. Hasbro did a great job this year with the Marvel Legends line. I gotta say, just from my point of view, I think this is one of the very best years of Marvel Legends ever. So I am just totally pleased with the work that they've done. Now, not every single figure is perfect, and this is actually not my top 10 figures of 2015 for Marvel Legends. Uh, Gamora, Coulson, Sentry, and Scarlet Witch were the ones that were on the list and then got knocked off the list. It was just very, very difficult making the list. Another one you're not seeing over here is the Phil Uric Hobgoblin. I also loved that one. That didn't make the list. Uh, there, And then I also like the three-pack Ultron. That was another good one. So there's a lot of figures that came out this year. Uh, a lot of good stuff. Oh yeah, Magic was another one that I wanted to add to this list. So anyway, let's get to the top 10 Marvel Legends of 2015. So number 10 is Rhino. And I have to say, it was very difficult putting Rhino on the very bottom of this top 10 list. I I really like this figure a lot. Great sculpt, great paint on this guy. Very good build-a-figure, definitely worthy of being a build-a-figure. The only reason why he gets the bottom slot is because, at the end of the day, I like this figure just as much as my Fearsome Foes Toy Biz Rhino. So, that's the only reason why he didn't make it up higher on the list. Number 9 goes to the Age of Ultron movie Thor figure. This is finally a Thor movie figure that I am happy with. I have just been disappointed in the other movie Thor figures. Just one right after another, they've either been redone from the previous ones I didn't like, or just something's just wrong with them. This is finally a movie Thor figure that I like. Actually, I think this is probably, arguably, the best AOU Thor figure. <laughs> Yeah, I really like this figure a lot, man. This thing is just sculpted out so nicely. I really like the paint apps on here. We get all kinds of different things going on here that just make me so happy that I had to put him at number eight. I really like the head sculpt with the flame effect, and we get some really nice paint on the red sections. And like I said, the sculpt overall is just really cool. I still really like the back of this little skirt piece over here. I just think this was a very awesome figure that I never thought I was going to see get made. So this one made me very, very happy, and I had to put him on this top 10 list. And the number 7 spot goes to Kraven the Hunter, one of my favorite Spider-Man villains. Just a really cool figure. I remember we'd gotten the Marvel Universe version of this that looked so much more badass than the Spider-Man Classics Kraven that we'd gotten years ago, just over a decade ago, I think, at this point. So we were long overdue for a new updated Kraven, and I think Hasbro delivered splendidly. This is just a fantastic figure. I couldn't be more happy with this Kraven. Number six is the Wasp. Now, to be honest with you, out of all of the redone figures that we'd gotten this year, Wasp wasn't the one I was looking forward to the most. I was looking forward more to the Scarlet Witch and the Sentry figures, but the fun factor with this figure is just higher for me. I just didn't expect to have so much fun posing this figure around. I love that we get the display option where we can remove some of those smaller wings, as you can see that I'd done right over here. She can look up very far. She's just really fun to pose, and I just didn't expect to have so much fun posing this figure around and I had to put her high up on the list so it definitely goes for a number six for Wasp Oh yeah, number five is going to Bulldozer. We had waited so long for this figure to come out. What a tease, man. We'd almost had a complete wrecking crew and then we had to wait, was it like a year and a half, maybe two years? Something like that for this figure to come out. And man, did they deliver. I am very happy with the cast iron like sculpted detail that we get on the armored sections over here. That's what really sets it over the top for me and just completing the team as well. So the anticipation and then the actual look of the figure, I'm very, very happy with the way this was actually actually produced the way it came out looks really good very very pleased with this figure I was super stoked to get it this is one of the ones I was looking forward to the number most. four goes to the Hulkbuster build a figure I love this figure I mean I know it's not exactly as what we had seen in product shots the paint looked a little bit different and people can complain about the figure all they want but I am very happy with it I mean the sheer 
bulk of this thing. It's very massive. Great posability. I mean, when are we going to get another posable Hulkbuster figure like this from the movie, right? We're going to have to wait a while till we see the ones from Mafex Figure Arts and Hot Toys. So this is the one to play with until we get those. And this actually really does a really good job. I only think this just needs a new paint job. But other than that, it's just a spectacular figure. I really liked it a lot. I pose this figure around a lot. I'm judging these figures about the fun factor as well as what I think of the aesthetics and posability and all that. And I just had a hard time putting this figure down. I really had a great time posing him. Chameleon? You like Chameleon more than the Hulkbuster Build-A-Figure? I gotta say, man, I have spent more time posing this figure around than any of the other Build-A-Figures. I just had a, such a good time getting the different heads on here. I actually have three of these, so I have two on display, and then one that I posed around that I put different heads on. I have the Matt Murdock head on there. It's a very posable figure. It's the same body mold as the Coulson, but the fault with the Coulson is that the peg for the neck on that Coulson figure made it very difficult to put other heads on this one. This one, a lot easier to put other heads on there, and I've just been having a good time posing around this figure, pretending it's different characters, so I really had to give it a high score for the chameleon. Then talking about not being able to put a figure down, man, this guy still does not have a display space in my room, in my dork room. I just absolutely love this Daredevil figure, I just can't stop posing it around. I mean, I have the yellow and brown version too, but just the red version right here, and this is with the Walgreens exclusive batons are over there, so I like giving him the red batons. I think it's my favorite Daredevil figure. I feel like I need more time to make the decision because I've had other Daredevils as my favorite, especially the Spider-Man Classics one. Uh, and this one I think beats it. I don't know, it may even be too early to say. Best use of the Bucky Cap mold in my personal opinion. Hella cheated. My number one spot goes to two figures over here. We have the Spider-Man. This is the Pizza Spider-Man and then we have the Scarlet Spider. Initially, Scarlet Spider had the number one spot, but I don't think that we would have gotten the Scarlet Spider if it wasn't for this Pizza Spider-Man. And having both of them together just because they fit so well and I can imagine them as clones a lot easier than any other two Spider-Man figures. I had to put them both at the top. I have doubles of each of these. I can't stop posing these figures around. The Pizza Spider-Man's been sitting on my display shelf for ever like the extra one has been sitting on my display shelf over here the extra scarlet spider has been on my office table so it's just uh, man I, I don't know what to say I, I really love both of these figures I'm actually surprised I like the pizza spider-man one as much as I do they both have the equal amounts of faults I think the torso being a little bit too long over here but then this guy lacks the armpit joint that this one has so they equal themselves out so I really didn't know what to do aside from putting both of them at number one like I said I tried really Really, really hard at making this list. So if you guys enjoyed my top 10 Marvel Legends list of 2015, please leave a comment below with your top 10 list. I'm dying to know what you saw as your top 10 figures from Marvel Legends this year. Again, Hasbro just did a fantastic job with these. And also I want to mention that I do have the Spider-Man Legends wave of 2016 arriving very, very soon. Uh, we'll have reviews up of those figures very, very shortly. And if you want to see reviews right now, you can check out JC's channel link in the description below you can find his reviews over there and i hope you guys liked the video once again if you did please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you guys next year